Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hey everyone. I had a little delay on starting our commentary. <laughs> uh, this is part two of yes. our Sonic the Hedgehog Let's Play. Uh, as mentioned last week, don't worry. We will get back to uh, Echo the Dolphin Defender of the Future. Um, but one, we will get back once we get unstuck from... Uh, basically the same thing we were showing you for like a month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Two months, maybe. That part was... That part dragged on too long, so we figured we're just going to get past it on our own, and then we'll have no footage to so new footage to show you guys. Yeah. So meanwhile, while we are figuring that out, we figured we'd uh, play Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. And uh, this is part two. Yep. Uh, thank you guys for hanging in there and listening to my opinions. <laughs> yes. From last time, if you were here last time. If not, long story short, I have some unpopular opinions. Um, basically, you know, I'll, I'll be real. I didn't spend a lot of time with the Sonic the Hedgehog fandom. Um, I was kind of on my own as a kid playing this, you know, the internet wasn't a big thing when I was first playing it. <laughs> um, right. And, you know, even after, you know, the, even afterwards, I was, I don't know why. Uh, probably because of being shy, I didn't really approach the community much, so I kind of, you know, would hear about other people's opinions just from an observation standpoint <laughs> so and I kind of had my own opinions as one does <laughs> yeah as one does so and they didn't always fall in line I have always been an advocate for Sonic and um, I don't know these days I feel like too many people treat him like a, a joke or treat the fandom like a joke and it's it's not the case you know some people are embarrassed to be like oh I'm still part of the Sonic fandom it's like no please do not feel embarrassed for loving something uh, for contributing fan works to something for liking games even if uh, you know other people might feel like said games are bad even if said games are indeed bad and you still like them it's okay even if you like bad games unironically doesn't matter we all have our own opinions i would argue sonic is a lot more than people take the blue hedgehog credit for yeah yeah and it's kind of like with a lot of things they they find like the I don't know. I feel like a lot of um, people who aren't part of the Sonic fandom or maybe aren't anymore always point to like the quote unquote weirdest parts of the fandom. And kind of like that <laughs> Sheldon guy from that TV show. What did, what did Sheldon say about Sonic? No, just people who behave like that Sheldon guy. Oh. I was gonna say, am I gonna have to have another reason to not like Sheldon? Uh, I don't know. Did he talk about Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, I have no clue because I don't watch that show. <laughs> it's been years. I, what little I have watched of Big Bang Theory, and this might be another. Wow. I apologize for those of you who are watching who might be fans of Big Sorry, Bang Theory. Sorry, Leslie to me, anyway, it felt like it was written uh, by somebody who doesn't understand nerd culture. They just kind of did their research on nerd culture and like threw as much nerd culture in as they could. So they could be like, see, I understand nerds. You know. Uh, we is all of the things. Yeah, because that's my... That's my biggest showcase of why 
I feel like it was written by people who weren't, you know, in these fandoms because they're into everything. But, you know, that's, that's another discussion. Where, yes, there are some of us that we have multiple things that we are quote-unquote nerdy for. Um, you know, that in itself I have some issues with. Um, you know, calling people and nerds or otaku or, like, genuinely, but, uh, yeah. anyway, that's not, <laughs> I don't want to get into that Neither here or, nor there with Mr. Needle Mouse. Yes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, that's why I don't like the show, I feel like it's, then, it, the laugh track is always put at the worst point. Uh -huh. Like how it was, it was so hilarious that Sheldon owns a bunch of Nintendo 64 games because for some reason that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway. A lot of that stuff's now super valuable now, so the joke's on Big Bang Theory. Yes. So anyway, the, um... And I was happy that one t YouTuber I watched, even though he talked about the weird part of the Sonic fandom, he did uh, at the end point out that there were a lot of there are a lot of really creative um, and talented people in the fandom. Oh yeah, which is true. What little experience I have with the fandom, um, mostly I looked up a lot of fan art. Excuse me. And there's a lot of great fan art out there. Fridge! People like to look at the weird fan art, but there's also tons of good stuff. Yeah. Um, and you can find uh, talented people in the Sonic fandom in multiple venues, you know. You have your fan artists, your fan fiction writers. Uh, you have very talented um, people who remix Sonic music. Uh, you have programmers who have made Sonic fan games. One very famous example became an official Sonic game, Sonic Mania. Yes. Um, there was one Sonic fan game I loved so much that I don't remember the name of. It was hard as nails, but it was also very beautiful. And all the music they used were like remixes of uh, like Sonic CD music, Sonic Advance music. Uh, very good. There were mm, a few Sonic fan games that were um, creative in. Uh, the uh, quote-unquote creative as well, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you talking about the junk off Newgrounds? Some of the stuff off Newgrounds. Yes, rest in peace, Newgrounds. I know, rest in peace. There was that really good and bad at the same time Legend of Zelda dating game. Oh dear. You had to literally look up a guide to do it because it was hard. <laughs> I'm thinking. Even with the guide, it was hard. But, um... I think, though, most of the Sonic fan games I played, I actually downloaded from a Sonic fan game community. Uh -huh. Like, it was a website where they had fan games. No longer up. The fan game uh, creators struggle the most because they're often, you know... I don't think it was as bad with the Sega properties as with Nintendo. Yeah. But there have, been, there have been some... There have been some Sonic fan games that were, you know, taken down. But I do think, you know, Sega, when they see really talented people, they, they do approach them. I agree. Yeah, um... Oh, man, somebody... Because somebody, uh, you know, on Nintendo uh, fan games on the note of that, somebody 
bothered to do like make this really nice Goku really nice 3D remake of Chrono Trigger where like they actually oh oh they actually um kind of you know made the characters look like they would actually look in a 3D game. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, in, in, uh, Toriyama's art style, too. You know, kind of like how the Dragon Quest characters look. Yeah. So, but that game got shut down by Nintendo. It was Nintendo that did that? Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't Square, but it was supposedly Nintendo. Hmm. Well, I don't know if they can agree on who owns that game. <laughs> yeah... That one's a big mess. That was during the brief amount of time that Square and Nintendo were friends. Yes, before they had the messy breakup, and the next thing you know, they're hate writing letters to each other and calling themselves <laughs> uh, Peanut Brain, and, well, they're throwing stuff at each other and not really talking. They decided to become competitors instead. Yeah, at least for a time, it seems like they've kissed and made up. Yeah, but it's still kind of like an awkward relationship. They they still, you know, this is why we have a, a, a like, um, I was going to say refurbished, <laughs> remastered version of Chrono Cross. But when right. it comes to Trigger, all we get is ports most of the time. The closest thing we got to, like, new stuff was the DS port that added a new ending. Right. Um, but... You know, so... So we could remake that, and they even released Radical Dreamers outside of Japan, finally. Yes. Um, <laughs> yay! I I'm happy about it, don't, don't mind me. Um, but Chrono Trigger, uh, you know... I really think part of the reason we haven't seen a the third Chrono game and also um, you know any kind of attempt to do what that fan game did is because they still I don't think they've decided what to do with the games that they made before their initial breakup yeah Kind of like uh, because Super Mario RPG, you know, they haven't done anything with that right either. Gino, we other than him making cameo appearances in some of the Mario games, he hasn't been used. Mallow hasn't been used again. So, um, and I'm sorry, I'm talking about Nintendo stuff on here, but <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Nintendo and Sony so messy. Let's just stay with Sega. <laughs> Sega's not messy. No, I'm I'm kidding. They have their own stuff, but stuff. yeah, they do have their own skeletons in the closet. <sighs> Plenty, sadly. But um, at least Sonic doesn't have to deal with something like that. True. I mean, I I know that Nintendo bought. Did they? Um, they sort of bought Sega. I don't know if they completely bought Sega. But I always thought Sega yeah. was like a third party that worked with everyone. I don't... Well, they ended up getting a lot of all of the Sonic properties on Nintendo for a while, but yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of the Sonic stuff went on Nintendo. I don't know that they bought them, but they saved them from being bought by Microsoft. I know that part. Right. So I think that was where that agreement, like, um, you know, you're going to mostly make games on uh, our system. With a few exceptions. But. Yeah, because, like, 06 came out on PlayStation 3. And I know, and, and <laughs> Ninten <laughs> Nintendo is like, no, uh, we're going to make our own Sonic Instead, we got Sonic uh, in Mario 2 universe. No. I mean, Secret Rings. 
And now it's Sonic and Arabian Nights. You That's guys. it. I'm care. sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't get your joke. Uh, the fact that... It's not at all like Mario 2. Mm, you're right. Yeah. Um, I... That was the first thing that came to mind because I thought of the... You're thinking of Doki Doki Panic. Yes. Yeah. I'd say the yes with Doki Doki. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, not... Sonic and Doki Doki Panic World with <laughs> the secret rings and... Yeah, that was game one of the Sonic storybook series, <laughs> which... I mean, it was strange, but I'm like, okay, you know. Yeah, I sure, can see it I'll, too. I'll do it. Sure. Same. Sonic and the Black Knight is better. Um, I've been told. By me, mostly. <laughs> yes. But yes. But. But really, it is. Um, yeah. I was happy because, um, you know, I always wanted to see Sonic with a sword. So. Nice. I mean, we saw Shadow with a gun, so. Yes, naturally. And everybody got so upset. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> it's all coming back now. Electronic gaming, especially, was like... Shadow building a gun? What? Yeah! Woo! Crabs! Yes. Yeah, not this boss the easiest. No, it isn't. It would be kind of, it would be kind of fun to see. Uh, the classic Sonic fans are probably going to yell at me, but <laughs> it would be really fun to see like a modern Sonic interpretation of the Genesis games. And I, I know they sort of did it with Generations, but not like that. Not not just a one-off, oh, we get to choose levels from different games. I'm talking about the whole game. Like, the entire games. Because, uh, guys, I, I, you know, when it comes to the war between the classic and modern, those fans who, you know, are on one side or the other, I like both. Um, you know, I appreciate what Sonic was in the beginning, uh, what he has become, with the exception of maybe one or two games. Understandable. Um, but, um, there you go. and I think of all of them as being one Sonic, I was not a very big fan of Generations having classic Sonic and modern Sonic separate. Uh, no, 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 no. It was kind of weird. Agrees! Ah! <laughs> I'm getting pummeled by fireballs! I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's just you're probably the most passionate <laughs> with this one. Like, the, uh, uh, I mean, there are some other games where we get like that, but... <laughs> gotcha. Alright. No! This is the one where I'm gonna have to put the noise warning for people listening on the Sorry, everyone. Uh, oh, no, it's okay. Because uh, I have to make the talking louder, and it will probably inevitably make some of the shouting louder, too. Whoops. Sorry about that, everybody. No, don't apologize. You're allowed to. What can I say? Uh, I mean, that means we're really into the game. So we... Yeah. I can't um, play with you because this is the first one. <laughs> True. Yeah. That does kind of suck about Sonic 1, which is one player. Yeah. No two player option. Although when I. And I don't think you can. <coughs> uh, go ahead. Were they. Was there supposed to be a two player option for this game? I wasn't sure. I have no idea. We'd have to look at the recently found prototype. They found a prototype? Yeah. 
They did. Wow. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, buy the Steam version so that I can maybe get the prototype. Uh, I should. I wonder if there's a because I'm sure somebody um, mod and made a mod that has the prototype on it. <laughs> I have to ask somebody if we're allowed to play prototypes because if we are, that would be a fun thing to do on our channel, but I also don't want to get in trouble. Correct. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you're watching and you happen to know, can we play prototypes? We play prototypes, I need to know. Please tell us in the <laughs> comments below. Or you could send us a message on Twitter or our Tumblr account. Right. Uh, or maybe email. Oh, that works if too. I have the email publicly visible. Have to check. So yeah, we just wrote a song for you, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, <laughs> it was not the best song ever, but it's a song. It is. But yeah, this is one of my favorite levels in this game. Oh yeah, it's great. It is great. Yes. Even if you get pummeled with fireballs. I won't spoil too much, but I will tell you there was a level that was cut out. Ooh. Yeah. Or either it was cut out or the name was changed, but I do think there were assets that were cut out. Interesting. Yeah. All right, come on, Sonic. Yeah, you can do it. Atta boy. But uh, I'll look into maybe getting Sonic 1 on the PC and seeing if somebody uploaded the... <coughs> Excuse me. The prototype. No! That'd be cool. Yeah. Now you said this was. Wait. Did I just find a glitch? I think you might have. Oh my goodness. Where is. The... Where do we go now? What happened, dude? Where are you? How do we. How do we advance? <laughs> Alright, well, one more. Aha! Oh, that's why. Okay. There yeah. we go. Yes. Oh, well, good. ladies and gentlemen, we saw a glitch. Uh, we did, and thankfully we fixed it. Yeah, it, be, it required us going back, but. Mm. I always find that cool when you do that, you know? Mm hmm. So, can I get, finally get another Chaos Emerald, even though it's rather late in the game to... <laughs> to yeah, it'll be too late to get them all, but... Even though back then, there were only six. That's right. And then, by the second game, they're like, you know what, we should probably have seven. Yes. Speaking of which... Did the Paramount movies even have the Chaos Emeralds? I don't know. Maybe in the second movie they will. But I can't watch it right now because it's on Paramount+. Plus. Yeah, I'm waiting for either a DVD, Blu-ray, or Hulu. if one of your services got it. Yeah. I was a little iffy about... Whoa, that's another glitch know, we found. I don't know if I want to buy it, though, because I don't know if I'll like it. Understandable. Because, and I mean it, I, I didn't watch it on a free service, I watched it on a streaming service I pay for the first one. Yeah, and... Um, so and I'm it, still supporting it, I just didn't necessarily want to own it, you know? I will confess the first one was a bit of a challenge to watch. Yeah, I was not a huge fan. Like, it's... It, it was yeah. Hop with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I've never seen Hop, but... Me either, I've only seen reviews of it, but I agree with the guy that said it was Hop. No! 
<laughs> I got another continue though. <laughs> Yeah, come on now. Yeah, there we are. <sighs> Did you have lyrics to this song? Probably. But here's the thing about the Sonic 1, some of the music. It's actually... It was written by... Uh, it was composed by... Um, the composer of a Japanese group called Dreams Come True. Get out of there. And uh, this this game and the second game. And so this one and a few of the others have actually have melodies that are featured in Dreams Come True songs from that time. So even though I have lyrics, um, it, more than likely there is an actual song. There already are lyrics, gotcha. Yeah, and in fact, for one of the, um, I think for the latest Sonic Anniversary, uh, they actually wrote lyrics to Green Hill Zone, so... I'm like, okay, great, I can't... <laughs> I can never publish my fan lyrics to Green Hill Darn. Zone. Darn. Uh, which is sad, especially <laughs> knowing, and I know you mentioned him earlier, but that Renalfloss guy. Yeah. I don't know what to say, considering I was kind of cross with his take on Civilization 4. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, some of his stuff is funny, but some of it uh, bothers me. Yeah. Uh, I know. He... he complaining about a huge channel here. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa! I did actually like some of your stuff, but some yeah. uh, some humor is a little mean spirit. To, to be fair, he did do a few videos that were funny. Yeah. Oh. Wow, I didn't know this spot was here. Yeah, I, I forgot about that spike thing, too. Yeah. See, guys, sometimes you play an old game and you discover something new. Yeah, I love that. I mean, maybe you guys already knew that. I don't really know, but uh, we did not. No, we didn't. We are going... And the only thing is, I don't know... Um... I don't know that our third part will take 30 minutes, but... That's okay. <laughs> if our third part's a little short, that's no big deal. Right. Yee! Whether it's Mario or Sonic, bombs freak me out. <laughs> yeah. At first I was gonna be like, no, there's not gonna be any Mario on our Sega day. This is our Sega day. No Mario here. Not even Sun Mario. <laughs> we went there, folks. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help it. No, we couldn't. Ah, uh, one of those fan games that's yes pretty famous. Even though I think it was originally a joke, more than likely. Yeah. And, well, that's why it's famous. And it's notorious. A, it's a notorious joke. Before ah! before we all got obsessed with Sonic Daddy Creepy Creepypasta. Yeah. Which is actually kind of, you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one, not gonna lie. Sonic Daddy <laughs> And yours truly read a lot of creepy pastas. Yeah. I only liked the ones that had some kind of visual. Yeah. There was one um, creepy pasta for Sonic Adventure 2 that was actually really heartwarming. Oh. Yeah, so. It actually kind of almost made me emotional. Oh. But I can save that for when we play Sonic Adventure 2 one day. Oh, good. 
Yeah. I was scared with this one. And that's perfect timing because we're at the 30 minute mark. Uh, so we're we recording part three? Um. No. <laughs> I thought we were. Maybe. Well, uh, but we have to stop now. Uh, so we'll see you in the next part. All, All right. right, guys. Bye.